like, subscribe, and comment to my channel, man. It's your boy Cheek the Great coming at you one more again, man. And turn them notification bells on, man. So we can get it cracking with the real. Okay? Let's get into it, man. Today I want to talk about that boy J. Prince Jr., man. I, I really want to talk about him, man. We all know he got a very good vocabulary. He's well-educated. Heard he been to all private schools. But man, no street knowledge. No street knowledge, man. And the reason I'm gonna say that is because, man, you know, he gave a self interview the other day. And man, I just wanna say uh, some of the things that he said were inappropriate for a street fella to say. A real street fella, you know? A mob boss for sure. A mob boss would never say this. So whoever over there up under them, man, y'all better watch y'all step. That's all I'm going to say, man. But I want to get into this interview that he that he uh, gave, you know? I want to get right into it, man. Uh, I want to let y'all hear what he said, man. And y'all let me know if y'all consider it dry snitching from a street nigga's point of view. I, I, I really want to know. Because maybe they do this like that out there. You know, I don't know. Because I'm not from out there. But, man, where I'm from, you would consider this dry snitching, man. But I'm going to let y'all hear this little clip. And I'm going to let y'all decide. Jump in my comments. Let me know what y'all think. And like I'm always say, like, subscribe, and comment to the channel, man. And turn them notification bells on. And if you got partners that ain't subscribed to the channel, turn them on to this real shit. Okay? All right, man, let me let y'all hear this, man. I woke up today with something on my heart. So I'm going to share it with you all. To all the leaders out there. To all the leaders out there. We have to make sure that we're tight at all times. We have to make sure that our security and our guys that surround us are tight at all times. Regardless of circumstances and situations. We never get too comfortable. Just one. The dude hit him the first time and ran off, thinking that something was gonna get thrown back at him. And we dealing with what we dealing with today. My message to y'all is: let's make sure that we stay sharp. Let's make sure that we stay on point. At all. Nah, now y'all heard that, man. Y'all heard that. He said the dude hit him, ran off, thinking something was gonna get through back at him. What do you call that? But th this ain't this ain't the original interview. I think he took the original one down. This something that somebody else had caught, but they just didn't get the full jug. You know what I'm saying? But the full jug was he hit him, ran off thinking something was going to get through back at him, didn't nothing get through back at him, I guess, and he came back and hit him again. Y'all tell me what y'all call that, man. Tell me what y'all call that, man. <laughs> if you're going to give a lick, take a lick. Be a stand-up guy. Be a stand-up nigga. Be a real mob boss. Mob bosses don't speak like that. Mob bosses don't allegedly say nothing. And all this is allegedly, you know? Mob bosses don't speak like that. Especially on no crime. I'm going to leave y'all with that, man, because I don't want to get too deep into it. You know, that's that man business. That's that man speaking, and I guess he spoke from the heart. You know? But no, that wasn't no real nigga shit. But man, like I say, like, subscribe, and comment to my channel, man. Turn them notification bells on, man. Every time I get some shit... I'm going to drop it on y'all just like I drop it in the toilet. All right, man. I'm out.